Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to No Holds Heart, a channel where sometimes we talk about relevant things, sometimes makeup, and all sorts of other subjects because I feel like it. Today is definitely makeup for sure from the title. So, I'm not sure if this video is up before the one I filmed last week, but I do think I'm gonna put this one up. The one I filmed last week, um, taken a little bit longer to edit because it is my story, my experiences of going through high school and the whole system of like school in general and the shit that my mom went through to try to get me the help and, and it's a lot. <laughs> Y'all been asking for some more makeup stuff, so here we are. And, and, there's a lot of stuff in front of me, a lot, because 2020 is a no buy year for me, not buying makeup. So I stocked up a little bit during the holidays and um, there's a lot of stuff in front of me, like I said. I'm not really gonna test anything. I might show things here and there because I've tried them a little bit. But for the most part, I'm just showing you what I got so that later on this year, I can show you like me testing them out and all that kind of whatnot. And it's warm because I'm sitting in the sun. So I'm gonna put my hair up. I'm back. My hair is up. I did give myself a haircut the other day. Messed it up a little bit. Who cares? It's just hair. It's gonna grow back. I mean, I cut it too straight. That again, it's hair. There's worse things to worry about in this world. Um, so yeah, I've got a bunch of things here. And I do want to thank one of my followers on Instagram for just giving me the idea or reminding me that I love makeup and I want to get into this. The past week or so has been really like rough in my life. And there was a lot of stuff. Like I had to watch the birthday haul video to make sure that I didn't include any of that stuff in here because trust me, there's a lot of shit in front of me. Because I took advantage of like the semi-annual sale and got a whole bunch of cool brushes. Let's get into what you're here for, the makeup. I don't know where to start. There's just so many things in front of me, which is fun for me. But there's so many different categories. There's like lips, eyes, face, and then there's even like, you know, soaps and, and cleansers and all that kind of weird stuff. So again, I'm not necessarily like gonna swatch and show you all of this stuff. So I'm just saving like my reviews and what I think about the product for videos down the line. If you're expecting like new things and me talking about new things, ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not on any PR list or anything like that. I don't have a lot of money. Everything I get is on sale or it's, you know, drugstore, which is affordable or whatever. It doesn't really matter. For everybody else out there though, that wants to get into makeup, you want to get the high end or certain things, just look for the sales. Nothing wrong with buying something on sale. This shirt, this shirt was like $10 at some Habitat for Humanity, like secondhand store and some of the money went back to like help people in the community. I mean, that's cool, but the fact is I really like this shirt, so I wear it. It's secondhand or it's cheap. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, I know I said not a lot of social commentary, but I just, see the world go to this place where like name brand takes over everything and people need to show off their wealth. Why don't we show off our bargains? Like, let's make that a thing. So that being said, I'm going to start with something that I actually like used today sitting right in front of me. I got like a new sponge. So real techniques need other makeup sponges because the sitting in this cool thing actually I got this on my birthday because my birthday is right after Halloween and I love skulls so it's a candy bowl you can see it it's just a Halloween candy bowl I put a lot of like the rocks the decorative stuff I have in like my other and then I just put like my sponges and stuff on the top so it sits there it looks really cute because yeah why can't things look cute I mean make it your own do your own thing be happy number one rule in life if it makes you happy, it doesn't need to make sense to anybody else. Just fucking do it. Again, don't break the law, don't hurt little children, and don't hurt animals. Otherwise, do whatever the heck you want. And in my case, it's glitter. There's always some kind of glitter involved with anything that I do, which is fine. But before we go to glitter, this is just these whips. It's body wash, but it's like foam. It smells so yummy and it's kind of fun because like it's foam in your hand and you rub it all over your body and it's kind of a weird 
different thing to do. This stuff, my skin feels really soft after the shower and stuff. It smells good and it's fun. I hope these things stick around. I hope it's not a fad because it's actually a lot of fun. And if it is a fad, I will buy a bunch before they are out because, again, have fun. Why can't you have fun in the shower? Don't skip the adult's commentary, but you know, you can have fun, I guess, in the shower while you shower. Sure. I mean, I usually have like music blasting and I sing along to it, so. But yeah, these Olay Whips. Super fun. Since I'm on the soap subject, I'm gonna kinda keep it around that. Another thing that I've recently discovered that I like, actually, I think I love it. I've only used it for like a week now, but it is this Alme. It says it's a makeup remover and a cream cleanser, and it actually does that. Usually I need to have like a makeup remover and then I wash my face to kind of get like the stuff off. And in the past few weeks, again, life just happens. Life happens for everybody, by the way. Um, I didn't feel like putting makeup on and stuff like that. So again, thank you very much to my follower on Instagram that gave me the idea. And then, well, they gave me the idea. They wanted to see the haul video. And I told them it was coming, and then that was a few days ago, and I just want to keep my word, so we're going to do that. But that person has been thanked, like, in the DMs, they've been thanked, like, individually, so. And since we just did body skin, I think I'm going to start with the primers, and the foundations, and the setting sprays, and the skin part. I think it makes sense. Whoa! Hold up! Is this actually going to be a no-holds-barred video that's actually cohesive? That goes in a row, that makes sense. Whoa, maybe. But, quick update. And this is a very important life update, whether it's for me or, or all of you out there. I no longer take anxiety meds. Yay! <laughs> for those of you who are like, yeah, yeah, whatever, everybody has anxiety. That is very true. Everyone has anxiety. At some point in time, like, there's always certain things that gives people anxiety. Some people have more. The less some people, you know, in my case, it's like a diagnosis in about, I don't know, 15, 16 years ago, I got diagnosed with agoraphobia, which meant I didn't leave the house. I was afraid of outside. I was afraid of, of just pretty much everything. And I actually didn't talk for a few years. I had so much anxiety. I didn't talk. And the fact that I'm at a place now where... I only have like the lowest dose of something like every day and no longer like extra anxiety meds is a huge step for someone that didn't talk for anxiety. It does make me a little bit like, I never thought that I would have a day where I'm still getting better and I'm still improving. And of course there's special people to thank for that and, and we're not gonna get into all that again. Um, but if you follow my Instagram, you probably know. If you don't follow my Instagram, why aren't you? Oh, I forgot. Maybe you're new. See, I'm not good at this stuff. I'm not good at this stuff at all. If you're new, hi! If you're not, hi again. Um, again, like, hit like, subscribe, all those things. Or if you don't want to do any of them, like, that's fine. I'm cool. I'm just having fun. And, um, let's get back to this, because I was going in a place where I was where I was actually going to be cohesive, where things were going to flow very well, and y'all might not be so lost. So let's try to keep that up. Now, one of the brands that I've been loving this year is Becca. I mean, I always love Becca. I know it's good. I've just been finding things I can afford from them. I don't know. But I did get something which is like the Skin Love. It's like the starter pack. So you do get the setting spray. It also says that it can be like a priming mist, but it works really great as a setting spray. And it came with this Brighten Blur Primer from Becca. And it looks great. And then it has this tiny little serum bottle. So it was these three items together, so I bought them all as one. Mostly because I wanted the primer and like a setting spray, it can't hurt. But damn, this stuff smells good. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells like cucumber and watermelon. Yeah, it smells awesome. And it works great. Because it's Becca. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Like, brands have fails. 
just as much as they have like things that aren't veiled. Now speaking of smelling like watermelon and cucumber, I did find this Too Faced foundation. I am wearing this today. I actually love this foundation, but it's like $62 or some shit like that. Of course I got it at Winners for a lot less. Actually I got it at Marshalls. Because Winners people go through that shit like it's their own stuff. I'm pretty sure people go there and get their whole face done with like putting their fingers and shit before they go out. Like, that's just... whatever. As I've said before, in Marshalls, things tend to be in little boxes where people can't touch anything. So I didn't even swatch this in store, I just took a shot in the dark that I knew it would work. And it did. I mean, I figured if it was a little bit too light, I could just darken it up with bronzer. Turns out, I don't have to. It's just great. It smells great. Again, this one also smells like watermelon and cucumber, which is what it says. Infused with juicy watermelon and fresh cucumber. I don't know. My face looks dewy and glowy, but part of that's also because of when I'm warm, my nose sweats. So. And sticking with Too Faced, I did find this Primed and Poreless um, Primer from Too Faced. Again, it's like Winners and Marshalls, because I ain't paying, like, again, 60 some dollars it is for this thing. But it does work really well. It does really minimize my pores. Love it. However, my favorite pore minimizer is always this one. Yeah, the e.l.f. Poreless Buddy Primer. I've repurchased this one, so I'm not really going to count it in everything that I mentioned, because I repurchased it out of all my stuff. So now that we're on the subject of e.l.f., um, I did get this hydrating face primer as uh, as a free gift from like one of the two orders that I put in during the semi-annual sale. So. Hey, can't have too much primer. Why not? Um, I do have another primer that I'm giving a try and never tried it yet, but it's in my bin. I'll let you guys know later on this year if it works or not. It's this Essence All About Matte. It's like a stick form. I don't know. Never tried it. It was on sale one day and I was like, yeah, okay, it's on sale. I'll give it a try. Why not? It's Essence. I have a lot of things from them that I love, like mascara. I don't know. These are my own lashes. They're mine. I grew them. I don't know. People comment on my lashes all the time, but they're mine. And the other thing that I have that's from e.l.f. that is in the face primer stuff category is this e.l.f. Plus Glow Dewy Mist. I needed to stock up on my setting sprays, and why not? It was in the sale. I think it was on sale, it might not. Either way, if it wasn't on sale, it was like $8. And I'm a huge fan of like the Dewy Mist setting spray, the coconut one. This one, this one. I've repurchased this, I've lost count how many times, probably like 10 or something like that. Sorry for your little like 20 second break. In my life, in my time, I put things away as I show them. And then I put a little bit more of the lip stuff on, so let's just get into the lips. So things I did get was Pixie Lip Icing, because it's glitter. Why the heck not? There's these two colors, so a rose. What are the colors? Um, candy and Cookie. Now, they look really, really good on the lips. I have been trying them out for a while because, well, some of these things I've had for a little bit. And the only thing I don't like about this is that it tends to end up all over your face. It doesn't really stick on your lips. The colors are beautiful though. Uh, I still suck at swatching, all right? So this one up here is candy, and then this one right here is cookie. So nice and shiny and reflective. Everything you want in a glitter lip topper, except eh, whatever. I like glitter. I'm not bothered by it, but y'all might be. I don't know. Another thing that I love, that's like the opposite end, because these things are like 20 bucks. It's Pixie, it's a drugstore, but it's still kind of expensive for a drugstore. These are super cheap, and I also love them a lot and use them a lot. It's from a Canadian company called Annabelle, and it's just these lip crayons. And, and this is what they look like. So it's just like a push-up lip crayon. This one here was like papayas, it smells really good. It has a little bit of a shimmer shine to it because it's a diamond one. 
And then the other one is still lip balm. They're just called lip balms, but they have a little bit of color to them. This one's just a pretty like mango color. They smell great. And the reason why I like them is because they work really good as a lip balm. Like if your lips are dry and cracked or whatever, they give you a little bit of color, give you a little bit of shine, and they really, really work well as a lip balm. Because again, I have kidney issues, I have other health issues, so sometimes you just get dry, cracked lips and you gotta work with that. Since we're on to glitter, let's show off these awesome bullet lipsticks. They are from Too Faced, so they're just super glittery. I do already have two other colors from before, so I really like them. Because cause I just like glitter, okay? Whatever. Um, this one is a color that I can wear a little bit every day, so... Looking at them this way doesn't really show off like how awesome these things are if you like glitter lipstick and all that kind of whatnot. So I will swatch all three of them so that you can just see because they're also like iridescent and all that kind of whatnot. So pretty cool. Here is all three colors before I swatch them. So what they look like in the tube. And yeah, I wear these. So the first one is this brown one and it is the color Hoochie. Yes, I guess so. No, I know it. And the next one is this dark purple and it is... Tranquila. Not one of those either, but, you know. Other people might have different opinions, but they don't even know me, so. And this one is called Pixie Sticks, the one I just got. Or Pixie Stick, sorry. I've recently discovered that colors and stuff are brand named things, so. This is what they come out as. Nice and shiny and iridescent, like, there's a lot of sunshine coming in right now, so you're getting a lot of reflection from the sun, but yeah, those are gorgeous. I mean, I like them. That's my thing. If you're not into this thing, then then just do what you like. Again, this next one just reminds me of like my teenage years. It is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Locified Wear. It's just a really pretty, kind of a glossy color, and it's like a light brown. Here you go. It's this beautiful chocolate colored light brown. It does smell and taste like chocolate. So yeah, if you have a thing for chocolate and you wear this while you're working, you're gonna be craving chocolate your entire shift. Just let you know. But this sheer light brown color was like all the rage when I was in high school, which is like 1998. So if you wanna go back to like those days, cause you're around my age, get yourself some of this stuff. Bring it right back to when like the light brown lit was a thing. Now I did get another item that's in the same kind of like tubing and I did expect it to be the same kind of applicator, but it's not. But this shit is awesome. So this is what the applicator looks like. And it is from Essence, so it's, go. does it say? Color Boost, and like nothing comes up. It does take about like five minutes for it to like completely dry down, but like once it's dried down, it looks really natural, it looks really good. It feels really nice and comfortable on the lips and it leaves a little bit of stain and just wears off really, really naturally with a really good natural look, just like the, just like the Too Faced and the next one does. On to more, because I'm realizing that I'm swatching things and I told you I wasn't gonna do that. These next ones are from Wet n Wild and you've probably already seen me wear a bunch of these colors. So I do have this little metallic color and then these two other colors I am living for at the moment. I'm really digging this like purple, gray, nude color. Love this. This one happens to be the shiny one and then this one happens to be like the matte one. So we're just gonna move on from there. You've seen me wear them before. Okay, you can get one. You get one swatch. You get to see what I'm talking about. One. Shush. So, here it is. Next to the dry down essence one. So it does dry down really nice. And that's that pretty grayish purple color. I mean, I don't know what the real name of the color is. I don't care. I just like it. It looks really good on me too. So that's lips. Let's move on to face item. So we're gonna go this way. Sounds good. Me, unscripted. It's the new thing. I guess get used to it. I'm not trying to sound mean or anything like that. I'm just saying that part of my Instagram is just me being me and letting people know that you can be whoever the heck you want. Do whatever you want. Just be yourself. 
And let's just show me here because when I first did videos I had like lists and like bullet points on to follow them. And now I'm not. So if you have a hard time following along with me, I'm sorry. But, but this is how I am in real life. And, and I don't want to be a pretend me when I'm here. So face stuff. I am wearing this today. I love it. But it seemed to get used up really, really quick. It is a setting powder from Bare Minerals. So this is the little thing it comes in. On the inside, there is a matte formula and then a glow formula. So, see from up close, there you go. And the matte one, I mean, this just feels oh, so nicely milled, but it seems to be wearing out much faster than the other one. But it's powders. I mean, at some point in time, I need to use them all up, but usually face powders take a long time to wear out. But again, I got it on sale at discount at Winners or Marshalls, so I didn't pay full price on that. Matte. But stuff I did pay full price for. So, Milani stuff. I had never gotten anything from Milani before in my life. And I just really wanted to try it. And I am not disappointed. Another thing I did pick up was this Joe Fresh blush. Because it was like $3.29. Like um, I've had a few things from Joe Fresh. One of those setting powders is like my secret holy grail. Um, maybe I'll let y'all know that later. It is in the color rose. So, it's just a darker color because I need to put more blush on once I'm done doing everything you can't usually see the blush and I tried a lot today so I'm hoping y'all like my effort <laughs> the Milani blush that I did get is in Coral Cove so it is a very pretty color look at that pretty rose look, look at that beautiful and another thing I know it's kind of like off topic but it really bothers me I have a few pictures of it. I'll, I'll put them in after. I get it. Like, it's beautiful pictures of, like, makeup. It's like a flat lay thing on Instagram. When you look at it, there's, like, thousands of dollars of product and none of it's touched. I'm like, you have enough money to buy all this expensive, like, blush and highlight and never use it? Give it to me. I'll use it. But, yeah. This is just really pretty. Like, it's it's just very pretty to look at same thing for the blush it is a baked blush i really really like it i wear it pretty much every day like on top of everything else of course butter bronzer wins but this helps out even everything out and stuff and then i look kind of like dewy and, and awake because sometimes i ain't that awake <laughs> but um another thing that i did pick up was from becca and it is a chrissy Teigen thing they had i don't know i don't think it even has a name oh it does have a name it is Endless Bronze and Glow, but it was a Chrissy Teigen thing. I don't know. I like it. So this is what it looks like in the pan. And down here there is a bronzer and then there's like a blush and a highlight. But they're all kind of shimmery. And I just usually take a brush and go all the way around and then put it on my face on some days or just going to glow everywhere. And the last face item is from Kat Von D. Which has now changed to Kat Von D Vegan Beauty, for those of you who don't know. She has stepped away from the makeup line. The reasons why, she says it's for her family, for other stuff. I mean, whatever. I don't care. I still like their products. She sold all the shares to Kenzo, which was the people that helped her start from the beginning. They're the ones who had, I think, the other 51% of the shares. So... When it comes to, like, product and stuff, I'm assuming the brand is just going to keep on going as it is. And in another sense, personally, even though I like Kat Von D and I do like Jeffree Star, again, makeup gets along in my house, but some of y'all it doesn't. I think it's a really, really good business thing because a lot of people aren't buying their products just because they don't like her stance and her point of view on some life issues. And I have seen a lot of tweets and a lot of comments about how they are going to try to give the brand another try now that she's no longer there so in a sense it's a really smart business move and was that the actual real reason i don't know i don't care either um but this is a highlighter and it's called gold school but it's a metal crush highlighter so from close up you can't really see anything it just kind of looks white and this is not for everyday use it is really for when i want to go out and party which i don't do much of but every once in a while I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. It just has like this glow. That makes me sad. I can't show you what it looks like because the camera won't pick it up. 
Probably because the only thing that really picks up in this is the little gold flakes. So when you do put this on your face, again, there you go. Can you see the iridescence there? When you do put this on your face, it's just like specks of glitter. That's all you really see. You don't see any base color, but it's not something you want to wear every day because it's not like a, sh a highlight that, you know, subtly catches like the light. It's it's there. It's like dot, 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 dot. Which is great for me when I want to go out and party. I don't want people to like see me shining from the freaking moon. However, if you like to wear these kind of stuff on an everyday basis, then wear them on an everyday basis. I don't care. I'm not going to judge. Do whatever you want. Okay. Makes you happy. Who cares? That's about it. And that's about it for that, but I'm looking at the brushes and, and you all gotta see. Um, <clears throat> my orders from e.l.f., both of them came to about $70. And just my brushes, like this many. And these are all e.l.f. brushes. For those of you who know brushes out there, e.l.f. has some freaking awesome brushes. Like, they're very, very similar to like the 60 or whatever dollar Sigma brushes and they're usually like 8 bucks. And if you don't know about e.l.f. brushes, then go get some. They're, again, $8 usually for anything with, like, the black handle. Um, but these pink ones, like, look at this color pink. It was a box set. It was some kind of, like, influencer collab. Um, Nabella Noor. I don't know. I don't know what that person is, but I love the pink. Let's all go for it. I didn't see the pictures on, like, their Instagram of who that person was. I've just never heard of that person. I've never seen anything from them. But I did see their pictures when they were talking about this collection and she looks like a very nice and kind person. But these brushes are just awesome. Like, there's this big... These are so soft, I can't explain. You just have to buy these brushes to figure it out. So two eye brushes as well. Then we got the very coveted highlighter brush, so just the shape of it. I do have this one in the black handle, but like why not have another one? Because it can't hurt. And then this. This is just... It is... It's a dual fiber brush and it's for like foundations and stuff. So I have tried it and used it. Dual fiber brushes really help like really disperse things and blend things out. Cause for those of you who don't know dual fiber, the white ones are a little bit stiffer than the bottom ones. So they really do blur things out, make things look really, really nice on the skin. This set was $20 regular, which is still a really good deal for all of these. I did get it for eight cause it was the sale. If it's still there, like, I would say pick them up. They're definitely worth it. But then I got all these other ones. And I just needed, like, more big fluffy brushes. So got a few here. Got this one. I really like this one. It is Flawless Face Brush. So it's kind of like an oval shape. I already had one before. I liked it. So I just bought a second one. And, yeah, I have a lot of brushes right now. So I'm stocking up for myself and stocking up for my friends down the line. So love this one. It's really good for just getting the contour where you really want it. Because, I mean... For me, that's how I use it, but again, do whatever the heck you want. And then, and then these are almost the same. One's a buffing foundation brush, and then it's foundation burning blush. I can't even say it right anymore, but it's just these. So again, this one's kind of oval, that one's round. Nice and soft, and they are dense enough that you can really buff things in with this, so that's great. I'm not going to complain. This one here is a powder brush. It's very sharp edge cut. And I use this one for putting my blush on because I think it works great for that. Is that what it's really for? Not really, but who cares? Do what you want again. Because angled brushes, this one, is usually what people use for blush. But do what the heck you want with it. Because I got this one here as well, which is a flawless concealer brush. It's supposed to go like under the eye. No, I use this one to just buff out the pretty colors when I do my eyes. To make sure that they blend all right. I need a nice, big, fluffy buffing brush for that and that's what I use this one for and this is 40 cents every year I buy a few of these from elf because they're good for eyebrows and your eyelashes there's some all over my house there's some in my bathroom there's some here there's one in my purse somewhere because it's 40 cents and they work like there's nothing fancy about a spoolie it just happens everywhere those are my brushes let's get into the eye stuff this is super long. In my mind, I'm like, I'm going to make a quick 15 minute thing. No, it's long. So, let's get into this. The first eyeshadow palette that I did get this year, or that I got at the end of 2019 for 2020, was this e.l.f. Chromatic Eyeshadow Palette. I did get it during the sale. With the points that I had, it ended up being free. And it is in Birds of Paradise. So, this is in Birds of Paradise, I don't think. I don't know. 
I'm pretty sure that Lord of the Paradise is the green one. But that's what it says on the back. And it's just these pretty, starts off with like these mauve pinks and then it turns into these nice neutral colors. I've actually done an entire look just using these colors over here. It turned out great. It was really pretty. So I'm actually not mad at this. Really like it. The next one that I have in front of me is actually an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It is the Prism palette. And yep, yeah, I got it. Winners. Now, I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have another one over there. Do I like all of their collabs? That's, that's my thing. I think they've kind of gone a little, like they're all like in a row. And I agree with, gosh, I can't remember who said it. I think it was Natty um, from Potlux that said that they're so in a row that it didn't give the other collabs time to shine before they brought another one out. But this one is the Prism Palette. It's been around for a while. And I really, really like it. So these are the colors on the inside. I do obviously wear this one over here a lot. And this one over here a lot. I'm actually wearing this today with other things we're going to show here. It's ABH. It has the original ABH formula to it. That's all I can really say. If you don't know much about ABH, then it's pretty. Look, it's velvety. It looks really expensive, and the quality is really, really good. So, now the next one that I have in front of me also has really good quality, but it's like half the price. So this is the NYX Love at the Disco Lust one, and it has smoky eye colors in them. So let's see if you can pick that up. So there's a little bit of a brown, a little bit of another gray brown, and then the rest are some beautiful shimmer colors. I played around with this a little bit. I love it. I just didn't have anything in my collection to really do smoky eyes. So this is where this next elf one comes in. When I bought that one, I didn't realize all the dark colors were all shimmery and I don't have anything in like dark grays and stuff like that. So this was 60 cents or a dollar 60, a dollar 60 maybe from the elf sale. Um, but it's just a chromatic color with like dark to lighter colors of gray. And I really love using this along with these colors so they fit really really well together it gives me like that gothy smoky eye look like when you want to look like you know you're mad at your parents because you've always been mad at the world or something sometimes I'm a little bit mad at shit I mean I don't know let's be honest it's me I'm always mad at something but you know I try to hit my battles this next one was from elf and again it was like a dollar sixty it is their clay palettes they're like this big they only have this many colors in them, but they're great. You can do an entire eye look with this in different ways. It does have a little piece of paper on it. That little piece of paper will try to let you know like where you should use what if you want to, but again, you can do whatever you want. This one I did have before and I decluttered it and then I kind of felt bad for decluttering it because I actually really liked it, so I just got it again. My decluttering stuff, I kind of do as I go along and um, I will come back another time and let you know about like my choosing bigger stories about me decluttering my makeup. Because right now I'm on that huge kick on YouTube where I watch like these Reddit, so they read Reddit threads and one of them is like entitled people and another one is like a big and choosers and I'm really into this British TV show where they go collect things for high court writs or whatever. It's, 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 it's quite funny when they're people are apparently very surprised they're being evicted after not paying their rent for six months. I mean, I, I don't know. And from that one, I actually found another show that I really like that's called like Bad Tenants, Slum Landlord. So you see both sides and things are a lot safer for the general public in, in the United Kingdom and all that kind of what not. Or is it Britain now? I don't fucking know how that shit works. I don't know what decision they made because I don't watch the news anymore. I just watch all those television shows or YouTube because the news is just depressing. But here in New Brunswick, I mean, landlords can get away with pretty much anything. I asked y'all on Instagram and you all said yes, for the most part, that you wanna see my videos of the apartment I lived in before. It was a fucking death trap. And um, city here don't give a shit. On those shows, they actually really do care if people are in places that it's um, not safe. So to move on, this is the last eyeshadow palette that I got and it is the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. So I just love like, the lettering and stuff. 
I don't think you this up with like the new Kat Von E vegan beauty thing, but whatever. It's pretty. I don't know. I don't care. It's makeup and I don't buy any for the next year, but it does have these beautiful colors in there. They don't really come up as much because they're pretty much iridescent toppers for anything. You can put them on your eyes, you can put them on your lips, on top of things. You can even use it as a highlight if you want. But there's a bluish color and then a greenish color. And then a purplish one and a pink one. So you can kind of see them a little bit. I'm not going to swatch them all out because I'm sure you can Google it. People have done it before. Now, speaking of Kat Von D, I did get in my birthday haul the tattoo liner. And I really liked it because it was a brush tip. So that one kind of ran out. And to replace it, I got the NYX Love Lust Disco. It's nice and gold and shiny. This is actually waterproof. It's called the Epic Ink Liner. And it is awesome. It's a great dupe for that Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner. And I actually like this one a little bit more because it's a little bit darker. It's a really dark matte black and it still has that same like brush tip applicator. And it's like eight bucks, I think, or something like that. I mean, I don't know. It's definitely more affordable. I like it. Gonna keep using it. Another eyeliner that I got was from Maybelline. Shh, it's not cruelty free. Get up with their times, people. But it's just this beautiful silver color and it really leaves like silver. And I'm not usually one to like use these colors, but I watched Taylor, so it's now Taylor Wynn. Go check her out. She's awesome. And she was talking about how like she lines eyes and I'm trying to use it that way. I don't know. Just having some fun. And then I did get a very skinny eyebrow pencil. Again, this is from Annabelle. And just like the small ones, these little tip parts. Yeah, it's small. It's the precise ones just to help a little bit in the parts where there's, you know, missing some stuff. And now we're on to the eye glitter and the last items. Because of course I say the best for last. I was so excited when I saw that Pixie Theralites were on sale for half price. I already had one before. It was this gold color one. It's called Sunray. It's beautiful gold. I love it. I use it with much everything. So when I saw that these other ones were on sale for 10 bucks, I picked them up. So I do have three. This one is a pretty rose gold. That's the name of it. It's just rose gold. This one is a very pretty green. Comes out as like a minty green, but the shine and sparkle factor is definitely there. My favorite one is this one here uh, called the Bare Brilliance. So it does look a little bit pinkish brown so the undertone of the sparkles are pinkish brown but the glitter sparkles themselves are actually silver so this one looks great over any kind of neutral color that you've got going this gold color looks great on anything that's got like greens in them and then these last two i'm a little bit like underwhelmed from it simply because like the glitter part of them are the actual color of the base color so they don't pop as much in the light when it comes to these colors but they do look really really great but this one can only go with greens and this one can only go with pinks when it comes to the other two they're kind of very versatile with a lot of different other colors but they're only 10 bucks so it's not that big of a deal the last ones that i got i wanted to try them out from elf because they're five bucks and these are definitely worth it they are this big mm. Stop complaining that they're not the same size as Stila, because these are Stila's, so I do have some Stila. Right here. So the size is, the size is different, obviously, but these are like 40 something bucks, and these are five. And let me tell you, I'm gonna buy them a bunch. And Elf was really nice and gave me a second one of this Disco one, which is the one that I have on top right now. I pretty much throw it on top of everything, and then we'll swatch this one, because the colors in it are like a holographic kind of color. I wouldn't use these as like an entire eyeshadow, like they tend to promote them to. I just use them more like as a topper for the glitter part, but that's just me. Um, this next one that I got here uh, is Bling Bling and it's just straight up silver. This one has more of a base color and I'm sorry you can hear the sirens because I live in the hood. Um, but I just use them as great toppers. So. Here you have Bling Bling and this one is Disco Queen. I did, again, get a second one of Disco Queen. I'm very happy about that because if I hadn't, I'd buy another one. But I know I'm on, like, a no-buy for 2020 that I really want to get the other colors that are in this 
set. Oops. Some just fell and I'm at the end anyway. But yes, I'm very much loving the new stuff that Elf is coming out with. So, And for my friend Jessica who asked me because she's very confused, Elf has always stood for eyes, face. That's what the letters always meant. They've been around for a long time. They've just decided to start using that as their slogan, as their hashtag. Why? I don't know. But like, why the hell not? I mean, I don't care. They do have a lot of new products they're coming out with. And they're not just like cheap but good. They have some items that are better than the original. Like this putty primer. It's, it's better than the Tatcha. Or if it's not better, it's just as good and it's eight bucks. So it's like you know, fraction of the price. So whatever Elf wants to call themselves now, if they want to rebrand things, people do that all the time, which is perfectly fine. I don't care. Quality's there. It's awesome. Get that stuff. So that's everything that I bought. Yeah. I went a little bit crazy. But I had a good time looking at it all. And now that I look at it and it's put away, I mean, I went to the store yesterday and I'm actually going and looking at stuff. I'm like, you know what? I have enough of this stuff at home. So that's good. That's good. I'm in a good place in my head. Things are going really well. I'm really happy. The only thing is that I'm super, super exhausted. Really, really tired. Again, the weird people that are all up in my account. They're not weird. I know who they are. Um, this is just driving me bananas. And now I've just decided to stop letting that ruin my bad day and just Keep on going with they're not there. So if you guys want to creep on me and see what I'm doing and report back, I don't know what you're looking for, but I don't give a crap you're there anymore. I'm living like you're not there. Um, but otherwise than that, I mean, everybody else, you're welcome to follow the Instagram if you want to. You can like this video and subscribe if you want to. And if you don't want to publicly like or follow anything, it's perfectly fine. Because again, sometimes I got opinions and well, sometimes those opinions don't agree with everybody else. And you don't need to be tied to any of that. You can still support things by just like tuning in and whatnot. That's fine. I'm just here to have fun and sometimes share what goes on in my mind and share what goes on in my life. Like mostly that's the point of everything. My life isn't easy and nobody's life is easy. That's the whole point. It might look like you have a good, even though on paper wise, like health issues, I'm gonna have two medical alert bracelets and yes, I wear two watches. I have always worn two watches. I've worn two watches since I was about eight. It started back then, I had a watch I liked, my mom got me one for Christmas, you know, make I feel bad, put it on the other arm, and it's been my thing. So I've been wearing two watches for 30 years, and I don't care what you think about that, that's just always what I've done. So, back to the whole thing is, yeah, I'm being me. Some of you out there are having a really tough time too, so I don't mind sharing my bad days. and letting you know, like, that was a bad day, but the next day comes up, and I mean, just, just try... Try, keep on moving, keep on going forward. You're eventually going to get to where you want to be. Or you'll get to a better place anyway. Like where I want to be, I can't get to. But that's not the point. Um, but I am getting to a better place. And I am achieving milestones. And things are getting better in my life. To a point that I never ever thought these things could happen. Neither did my doctors. Because I'm lucky and I have a bunch of doctors that look after me. So... That's what I have for this. I don't want to get into too much social commentary. I hope it wasn't too much. I hope you liked this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know a comment if you didn't. I don't know. Just say what you want to say. People are going to say mean things. That's fine. Go for it. Get nice things to say. Say those too. I mean, or say nothing. All I know is I'll see you all next time. Have a great week.